welcome back to uh, Bloodstock TV. We are sitting here with Tatiana and Eugene from Ginger. Guys, it's an absolute pleasure to have you. Welcome. Welcome to Bloodstock. You finally made it <laughs> after everything that's been happening. Um, especially, uh, look, we'll just address this. It's an absolute miracle that you guys have managed to do what you're doing in spite of everything that's happening. And I wanted to ask you um, just briefly talk about just the process that you had to go through in order to get the relevant paperwork and everything for you to, you know, I know it was the Department of Culture that, that arranged and allowed for all this to happen, which we're all eternally grateful for. So how, what was the process? What was it like to kind of get this happening? There is nothing complicated and we are actually not the unique uh, ones to get out of Ukraine and tour and play. I believe now there are hundreds of Ukrainian bands touring around Europe. Uh, and uh, well, it all started from an offer from a festival who were planning to uh, make a charity event, traveling charity event around Europe. And we just told them that we are up to doing this, but we have 38 festivals announced uh, and booked already and announced throughout the whole Europe. 38. Yeah, so this is what we had for this summer. Yeah. So we, we told them that we, we either cancel all of them and play your event or we just have to play ours. And they just gave us direct contact in the Ministry of Culture who we applied with an official letter and they provided us with, with a permission. Mm -hmm. So in short words, this is and, how it happened. And, it, and it, was, it kind of happened quite fast. It, it took us uh, months in, right. in, in total, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, we'll, we'll move on to discuss other things, but I just wanted to... I mean, I can't imagine. That, look, you're you're away from things. You're you're doing this, but the the, the fear of just the thoughts of like what is going to happen and what's going to happen when you go home and what's the future going to be. It's so hard to. I can't even imagine what you must be going through. Um, that feeling is just insane. It's uh, what the war taught me is that it is impossible to think about the future and plan. Yeah, we we are just living one day enjoying the moment mm -hmm. because nobody knows what's going to happen next yeah uh, what nobody knows what comes into a mind of another crazy politician and what they gotta do next yeah yeah it's very unpredictable times it's very scary times um now there there has been some uh, fundraising obviously that's been happening um have you been uh, it's it's happening everywhere you you're, you're playing there's it's been organized um, and we saw today there's a huge uh, display of support for you guys in the audience obviously but the uh, the logistics of organizing before you arrive at the festival are there people that uh, get in touch with you prior to see what they no nothing the, everything you see at our shows is uh, done spontaneously by, by our fans mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's just cool to see how how we as a band connect our fan base worldwide to mm -hmm. our country and how we make them support not only us individually as a band but also the, the whole the whole Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. We don't even have to make them. It's their own it's natural. Their own naturally. Yeah. They they are the greatest. Yeah. They are the greatest. And we appreciate you guys a lot. Love you. Absolutely. Um uh, Tatiana, you had recently said, and, and very understandably, that it's uh, uh, you know it's hard for you to kind of pro keep faith in in music, and I can understand that, despite it's what's you know you've you've experienced and trying to communicate that since the since you like just the time the week since you have been touring, and have you come to terms with the fact that? you can actually generate some goodness while you're out here on the road and and, and yeah. that, that is I'm, what I, I guess what I'm supposed to say is the faith is in yeah. you guys actually continuing to do this this is the most powerful thing that you can do yeah. I mean well yeah absolutely and um, there are days where I um, surrender where yeah. I give up but the next day we think that there are people who really in need of our help, yeah, for our help, and that's what makes us keep on going. And um, I think that's enough for us to live for ourselves. Probably, you, you know, yeah, like for me mm -hmm. personally. And um, it's time to good uh, to do 
great things for the others and that's how we actually turn our music into something that important yeah not only for your mental health for example but we actually support those who are in need mm -hmm. financially uh, like due to humanitarian aids and mm -hmm. um, yeah I need physically physically yeah in yeah, every so. capacity in every way yeah. I suppose um, what I took from you saying that, that the, the you know faith in music it's it's very hard to like how this is obviously a huge uh, experience for you and um, for all of you and then to what you do is you create music you're artists you actually take situations you digest them and you you create so it's like have you has there been have you written anything any poetry or music or anything or ideas in, in a cathartic type of way over the last period of you know the last few months to or has it just no, been not really I don't know I don't know why but you know uh, honestly I I've, I've written some war songs way before ginger mm -hmm. first of all and way before war even started in in Ukraine mm -hmm. uh, and <clears throat> I don't know how but it's easy for me to to write about war when it doesn't it's it's, it's not happening around you. Kind of from a fa but from a when it started, uh, I was absolutely um, devastated and uh, paralyzed. Create creatively. Creatively, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I I cannot write about that. Mm. I still cannot process that. And um, I think it's a re uh, it's such a great uh, <clears throat> trauma that it takes years and years yeah. to process not only for me um, mm -hmm. well mo mostly for the um, citizens of Ukraine mm -hmm. for the victims and stuff so I think I really think that it's not my time to write about yeah another, uh, to write another war song about mm -hmm. uh, right now but, but we, we actually we never had war songs we had we we've never written anything which is militaristic or, or anything like that. Well, I call I call well, maybe it's my bad. I don't know, but I call war songs that um, songs about war. Yeah. You think there's a difference? Well, we because it can mislead. I mean, uh, we have a number of songs in our discography which is uh, which is, which are peacemaking songs. Mm -hmm. These are songs which call for peace. And calling them war songs can be a bit misleading because it may it may just uh, make people think differently of what they really are. Mm -hmm. To be honest, yeah. And uh, if, if Tatiana says that well, she she hasn't written any any lyrics, but we have written a number of compositions musically mm -hmm. in the circumstances we were mm -hmm. since the war started. Mm -hmm. So definitely, there is there is a reflection. Mm -hmm. creative re reflection of the events already okay now just to talk about the uh, you mentioned what was it 38 festivals That's yeah yeah around day. that yeah and the 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 North American dates they were obviously cancelled are they, they they are happening again is it are you we will we will be touring in the US for sure but uh, the, the dates which we cancelled were not fast days we, right. that was not fast and we we cannot just play them because that was not fast. It's already gone. Yes. But we will be we will be touring um, as a headliner for definitely. Yeah. Okay. So Sometime soon. after the summer, um, what are the plans going into the end of this year? Um, so yeah, we will we will we'll go to the states. This right. is the, the the priority and the plan now. Right. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, thank you so much for thank you. taking the time to yeah. speak with us, and it was fantastic to finally have you up on the stage here at Bloodstock. Uh, it's been a long time coming with, with going right back to pre-pandemic so it was amazing and we really want to see you guys back here again in, in hopefully we are the next glad to be years. here yeah yes. after all these years yeah for sure well there you go guys uh, ginger absolutely 
laid it on on the main stage today and I'm sure there's gonna be footage up online so um, please just uh, keep in touch with the band watch what's going on and if you can do anything to support or help please do that thank you very much guys Thanks. Brilliant. <laughs>